Hey, welcome back to Bunny Wonders What Is? Today, we're venturing into Russia to explore a dynasty that ruled for over 300 years, yet met a tragic end, the Romanov dynasty. Buckle up, this is a tale of power, culture, and revolutionary change. The Romanov dynasty started in 1613 with Michael I and ended in 1917 when Nicholas II abdicated the throne amidst the Russian Revolution. The dynasty underwent massive transformations, evolving from Renaissance despots into enlightened rulers keen on modernization. Under the Romanovs, Russia went from being landlocked to a global power. Particularly, Peter the Great was a game-changer. He modernized the military and built a navy, effectively placing Russia on the world stage. Historian Gregory Fries even credits him with pulling Russia into the modern world. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, serfdom. Tsar Alexander II did emancipate the serfs in 1861, but the results were mixed at best. As historian David Saunders points out, the serfs were freed but often found themselves in conditions hardly better than before, leading to long-term social issues. Russia also became a cultural hotspot during the Romanov reign. Take the Hermitage Museum, founded by Catherine the Great. Russian literature, music, and ballet also reached new heights. As Orlando Figgs put it, the Romanovs played a critical role in creating Russia's unique national culture. All good things must come to an end, and the Romanov dynasty was no exception. Mounting social discontent and Russia's disastrous involvement in World War I led to Nicholas II's abdication and, eventually, the execution of the royal family. So there it is the Romanov dynasty in a nutshell. A compelling mix of grandeur, cultural growth, and eventual tragedy. Their downfall might serve as a cautionary tale, but their influence on Russian life is undeniably immense. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit the like button and subscribe to Bunny Wonders What Is? For more captivating stories.